area is really a great place to come birding. People come up here to look for white-headed woodpeckers. If the area were less impacted, um, and definitely not the way we're going with drilling and so forth, it would be a good place for northern goshawks, great gray owls. Uh, all these birds need places to hang out. And because we have good access with this Forest Service Road, it's a good place to come do field trips, look for birds. People can get out and really enjoy it. Once the drilling activity goes on, a lot of that's not going to be available to the public. They're basically going to close it off and people won't have access to it. And that doesn't seem quite right. I mean, these are the public's lands and everybody would like to enjoy them. So not only would this operation be impacting the land itself, but it's going to impact our ability to be able to come up here and do go bird watching and enjoy the wildlife that are here. And we've got a problem with that and we really think that the Forest Service kind of dropped the ball on some of the studies they should have done to find out what was up here, and so we're well, hoping to remedy that. Well, did they do studies that. for great gray owl or northern goshawk before they approved the bond? Uh, no, they hadn't done any studies before they gave them the go-ahead to do the exploration. So you're saying they approved the mine without knowing what, what yes, what's there? Yes, they approved further exploration without knowing what was up here. They, I guess, figured they would do the studies later. Now, for us, that seems a little backwards. Seems like you should do your studying first so you can figure out maybe what the impacts are going to be, and then that would determine how you would let a company do some exploring. But since they didn't have that information, that is not going to happen. So we don't think that's right. We think that study should come first, and then that helps you decide how you're going to let the exploration take place. The other thing is they didn't do any, there's no baseline groundwater studies. They're going to punch this thing full of holes, like there's 200 and something drill holes they're going to put in that go down 3,000 3, feet. And basically when you do that, you, you connect all the strata of soil from the top to the bottom so that whatever's flowing in, they can at that point all mix together. So if they do that and you have no groundwater study, when problems start to occur, you could never point back to the exploration because you have no data to prove what it was like before they started doing that. To us, that seems like a really serious, serious problem. They should definitely have done some groundwater baseline studies so that as they do explore, if that were the case, then they could see if, if things changed and they would know what changed. But at this point, they have no way to measure that because they don't have any baseline information.